Hi, I'm Jessica Taylor from InkItUpWithJessica.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make these joy and peace cards as well as give you tips for adhering these tiny skinny little die cuts to your cards. So for this card, I used a Whisper White card base. This is just five and a half inches by eight and a half inches folded in half. Then I used a four inch by five and a quarter inch piece of Knight of Navy cardstock that I embossed with a folder and a two inch by four inch piece of star paper that is gold foil stars on a Knight of Navy background. So pretty. I'm going to show you how to put this entire card together, but I want to start with tips for adhering these really skinny die pieces. The joy dies come with three dies for every word. So this says joy, and there's the really detailed die over here. And then this is the joy that I cut out of Knight of Navy that highlights behind it. And then there's even another one that you can layer behind that. So this cuts out a really skinny piece that when you're trying to glue it down can be really frustrating. So let me show you my tip for making it easy. I like to use the adhesive sheets from Stampin' Up! And they're about six by 12 and they have two kind of creases, not creases, cuts I guess, where you can peel up the backing. So I like to just peel back one of those and I've taken a copper foil sheet that is just a little bit wider and normally I would cut it down to the exact size but this was a scrap that I had. So I'll just go ahead and put that down and it's sticky. So now it's stuck to the copper foil. Then I'll just take my paper snips and cut that off the adhesive sheet. So now when I peel this backing off, this is gonna be sticky all over. I'm gonna do the same thing for a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock. Just gonna peel that back. Again, this is a little bit wider only because it was a scrap that I already had. Just going to line that up against there and cut that out as well. I'm going to grab my stamp and cut and emboss machine to do the die cutting. One of the reasons I love this machine is because right on the base plate, it tells you how to layer your pieces to make the right sandwich to do your die cutting and embossing with embossing folders. So for the cutting, I'm going to start with the one followed by the two followed by a number three clear base plate. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my copper foil sheet and I'm gonna put my joy on there, it'll fit this way. Now, because I don't want my top plate to mess up my copper foil at all, I've just cut a half sheet of, this is actually just computer paper, copy paper, whatever you have handy, and I'm gonna place that over Top, and that's going to kind of protect the copper foil sheet from any marks on my top number three plate. And then I'll just run that through. And there I have my joy cut out. You might just need to kind of gently tug it out of there. And I do mean gently, don't pull it real tight. But sometimes when the adhesive sheets are on there, it's a little bit grabbier. Probably because they're sticky, right? So I'm just gonna punch out all those little pieces. And there I have my joy. Now the best part about this is, the back of this is like a sticker now. So I'm just gonna peel off that backing when I'm ready to tape it down. I'm gonna keep the same sandwich for my navy blue piece. And then I'm gonna grab the die that goes right behind that. Now one thing, if your cardstock is a little bit bigger than the adhesive, you wanna just make sure that when you put your die on here, that you're catching where the that you're catching where the adhesive is um, behind your cardstock. So I don't really need that extra sheet here, so I'm just going to put the number three back on top, and roll it on through, and there I have my background joy piece that is already like a sticker on the back, so it'll be really easy to tape down. While I have my machine here, I'm going to cut out a circle to go behind my joy out of Whisper White cardstock. All right, so same sandwich. I'm grabbing just a, a scrap paper of Whisper White cardstock, and then I'm going to use one of my stitched shape dies. I actually keep this on a magnetic sheet that I get from Stampin' Storage because this is one of my most used sets of dies. I want it to be handy, and I'm going to use the... Um, I guess second from the outside circle. This is also my most used circle. 
go ahead and put that on my white cardstock. Number three back on top and roll it on through. What I love about these dies is they not only cut the shape, but they add the stitching around the edges all at the same time. Just one pass through your die cutting machine. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do while I have this out is emboss my background piece of Knight of Navy. So I'm gonna take off the number two, and I'm gonna start with the number one, then I'm gonna grab my Dainty Diamonds embossing folder, and I'm gonna put inside my Knight of Navy cardstock that is four inches by five and a quarter inches. Now because this has an obvious pattern with lines, I wanna make sure that I have everything lined up nicely in there. And then I'll put that down and add my number four specialty plate on top because this is a 3D folder. And then run it on through. And then my background piece has a great raised design on it. Then I can just pop up the sides of my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine and it's ready to put away. I love how it stores so easily. Okay, I just need one more piece for this, and that is the To The World. This stamp is from the Peace and Joy stamp set that coordinates with the Joy dies. And I'm gonna stamp that with Knight of Navy ink. Just on a piece of scrap Whisper White that I have. So I like how this is kind of the opposite. Instead of the words being dark, the background or what's around it is dark and then the words are white. So I'm going to go ahead and just trim that out with my paper snips. I'm not usually into fussy cutting or, you know, cutting things out with my paper snips, but this is pretty easy since it's a rectangle. And get the last side. I'm trying to make it even around the sides, but I'm not too worried about it. Okay, and there's that final piece so we can start taping things together. I'm gonna start with this background piece. And I often get asked what kind of adhesive I use. Currently I'm using Stampin' Up's new Stampin' Seal. I feel like I'm finally getting the hang of it. But use whatever adhesive you like. I tend to like double-sided tape and I do not like glue of any kind. I tend to make a mess with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and center that on my card front. Then I'll put some adhesive on the back of my star piece. I like to make sure that I get tape on the corners so that my pieces stay down really nicely. Okay, I put that over a little bit closer, no big deal. And then I'm gonna add my circle. Right about there. And now is the magical part because I think I'm gonna start by putting this joy. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna start. So you just wanna get your fingernail in there to peel off. And then it's just like a sticker, it's all sticky. So I'm just gonna layer that on top of my Knight of Navy joy. And that looks fantastic and it was so easy. The first one I did not use an adhesive sheet and it was a pain. I could not get it glued down nicely. So then I'm just gonna take the backing off of that. There you can see the whole adhesive sheet. It's all sticky. Put that over my circle. I guess I could have done an adhesive sheet on the back of this little piece too, but I did not think that far ahead. And so I'm just going to pull a tape on that. Make sure there's no adhesive around the corners and then position that kind of down there. So there is my joy card. I'll give you another look at the piece card that I made. Just swapped out the circle for an oval and I stamped the on earth directly on the oval. So if you don't want to cut out this little piece, that would be another option. But I hope that you enjoyed the tip of the adhesive sheets on your itty bitty die cuts like that and that that helps you. Thanks so much for watching and if you like this video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe for more card making videos. Thanks so much for watching and happy stamping.